So my name is Nicholas Spiegelberg. I'm a software engineer with Facebook in New York right now. I've spent the past two and a half years working with Facebook on the HBase solution, HBase, the NoSQL database, and I've been rolling it out for a very, helping roll it out for various deployments within Facebook. Yeah, so my presentation today was on multi-tenancy and multi-tenant applications within Facebook, so uh, with HBase. So it was really going from this problem of you have this NoSQL solution, that's great. You've launched it to one product, uh, that's amazing. Everybody's done that. So how do you expand from there? How do you keep on adding new applications? How do you know when uh, you're going too fast or how do you know when you're going too slow? And how can you make this work? How can you take a system that's like NoSQL that's at the edge and how can you make it something that's pervasive and part of culture like MySQL? I think when you start talking about big data, we're living in an internet world where everybody can be connected and where the, the information that people have is greater than a single machine. And so to be able to analyze it, you need tools that can operate on multiple machines and that can operate efficiently. We're getting to an age where NP-complete doesn't matter anymore. A linear algorithm can't scale at a certain level. And that's what big data means to me. I think a lot of great technologies around HBase uh, with the NoSQL type solutions around eventual consistency, uh, around cross data center, um, basically various ways of modeling around graph databases. I'm interested in the different ways that we can visualize. Facebook has done a great job of visualizing connections uh, between friends and between places and I think those sort of relationships and uh, expounding upon those sort of relationships in the future will end up influencing big data. I, I think there's a mixture of we're really wanting to make products that impact users and so instead of trying to develop big data platforms for a theoretical uh, product, we're trying to utilize the existing technologies to create something that users enjoy and users like and users find value of. And after we see that they have found value, we want to go back and see how we can make a big data solution that optimizes that and that handles that in a more productive way for the user. There's definitely multiple approaches that you could take there. I think uh, other major companies uh, like Yelp have shown about sort of taste graph and different ways of viewing sort of the relationships of people. Uh, I think Facebook has done a great job of seeing that people want to be more open and connected and people want to converse with each other. I think there's also various other ways of viewing the connections that we have with our outside world. And I think that's definitely an emerging market of what sort of connections do people have and how can we model those connections and present it back to the user in a way that's valuable for them, not just in a way uh, that is an interesting picture. I think there's lots of great opportunities in the big data space. There's been a lot of great startups like in Silicon Valley and in New York that have been focused on solving the big data problem for the average developer. Um, and I think we're going to get the next wave of visualizations. And uh, if you can be on top of what a very useful visualization is, recognizing when it comes. Um, you know, you look at a company like Facebook, and I think one of the greatest things that we've done is that we haven't just built a product, but we've had other companies that have been able to build on top of us and make great success stories. And there's still situations like that with Facebook, and there'll be other companies that will come along that people will be able to utilize their view of the world to enhance users' experience. Uh, <laughs> your, your guess is as good as mine. I, I think the important part for me as a software engineer is really focusing on how can I make this scale? How can I make the next generation? Um, I think you need a good balance between being able to visualize the future and being able to see if you can pragmatically actually make the future work. Um, like I said, you, when you were getting in this big data so solution where a linear algorithm doesn't matter anymore, like uh, how do you get sublinear? How do you think sublinear? How do you program for that? How do you make the infrastructure around that? 
Uh, I think these are all good questions to be asking. <laughs> uh, you know, Facebook is hiring all the great developers that we can. Uh, we're definitely hiring now in New York and in San Francisco. I think the best thing is to really be uh, solid on your fundamental, solid on understanding the different data structures that are, are in the world and how they all intermix together. Um, I tend to have conversations with people that when they, they can recognize the patterns in the world and the patterns that occur in computing um, and in everyday life. I think that's just part of Facebook is, is realizing that it is a social graph uh, in addition to being social connections and real, really being able to look at life and friendships and the patterns that actually matter for computers. This is a great conference. There's a wide variety of talks here. Um, I've noticed there's a very sort of unique scene here. Every um, place I've gone has had different focuses and different like centers of um, specialization. And Berlin here has a great tech community and has a lot of support behind here. And they have a lot of novel solutions around here that are not able to be found in other areas. I think it's good to take advantage of the great tech centers that you have in the various parts of our world.